welcome back to my channel in this particular video i'm going to explain about the if else and then block where you will use how you can use very efficiently let me go to the visual studio code so here i have opened my visual studio code which i have used in my previous videos so first i will explain about the if condition then else and then we'll go through the then and else block so let me take the two div one div will be used for if condition and the other div will be used for else condition right as the name suggests if and else if means the, if the condition is true the variable uh, condition is true then that particular block will be visible on the browser else the condition which is written inside the else will be displayed so let's take the uh, practical example one uh, here i where I will use ng if with the asterisk uh, I will be capital and I'll take one uh, one variable condition here I will mention if condition active right and the same dev I'll copy and paste with the negative sign and here I will mention else condition will enable so this variable I have to define here as in boolean so let's take as in true so it's compiling up and we'll see the output on the browser if condition active if condition active because the value of the variable is true so let's make it false See, else condition is active right because this condition is because this variable holding the false value so I'll go to the I mean the same condition we can write in some other way let's take an example I remove this section I will use uh, the same variable I am going to use the ng template see ng template is very useful when you are playing with the else and if condition because it does not load the content on the browser if the condition is not true right so here I will say uh, else block active okay so for this I will use else and I will also say else block and will be use else block as in reference as an property binding with the hash variable save it so the value of this condition is false so now you should show active block yeah now let's make it true save it and see if condition active right so the previous if and else we have used so in this particular uh, way we can convert the code in very clean and very efficient manner now we are going to see how we can use the then and else block so we'll remove this particular section and we'll copy and paste the div here because the condition uh, will be written inside the div and uh, the section will be written inside the template so we'll copy and paste this and I will display inside the div copy and paste for the else condition here I will say uh, else block yeah, and this will be the for then block so what could be the condition it will be written like else condition and here we will write then space your variable as a re reference variable which hold the reference and then we remove this part so in this way you write the condition inside the div and wh whichever condition is true that particular block will be visible on the browser so we'll reference else we'll go for the else one and pay, save it so the value is true 
the condition value is true so then particular this particular section should be displayed yeah perfectly and let's make it false yeah right else section is displayed so now in this way you can able to use then with the else statement right using ng template so thank you for watching this video if you are new to this uh, new to this tutorial please subscribe the channel share the channel and please like the channel thank you if you have any question please put the question section i will be very happy to answer thank you so much